All right, let's look at this question. Yeah, a horizontal force of magnitude six point five newton is exerted tangentially on a frisbee of mass thirty five, you know, thirty two gram, and radius fourteen point three cm. Assuming the frisbee, a uniform disc, is originally at rest and the force is exerted for uh, 0 0.08 second. Determine the moment of inertia of the frisbee, angular acceleration of the frisbee, and uh, um, angular velocity of rotation about the central axis where the frisbee is released. Okay, first of all, um, what is provided here is a uh, uh, horizontal force. Okay, it means it got a force given here, um, pushing tangentially. Okay, later I will show you in a big picture. Uh, this is the mass of the frisbee and this is the radius okay uh, but be careful uh, the unit uh, uh, be careful with the unit you see this is a uh, gram you have to change to kilogram and this is centimeter uh, you have to change to uh, meter okay SI unit remember yeah so, uh, this is the radius uh, uniform this uh, uniform this uh, originally at rest uh, at rest and uh, Okay, this is the initial angular velocity, yeah? initially at rest, and the force is exerted for 0 0.08 seconds. So, this is the time taken. So, what is the moment inertia? That means you ask for I. Uh, I is the equivalent to, uh, equivalent to mass. Yeah? Uh, in angular terms, it is I, but yeah, you see the words inertia here? Inertia, so it relate to mass. So moment inertia is related to mass, yeah, in um, the uh, linear terms. Okay, uh, and also ask for angular acceleration. So me ask for alpha. Okay, this is like uh, accelerations in linear terms. Okay, uh, and then uh, yeah, that means the, and then ask for angular velocity. This is the actually the final angular velocity uh, when the uh, frisbee is released. That means it's the final already. Yeah. Um, so uh, this is like the final velocity, lah. Yeah. Uh, when it's released, because you, uh, the person, uh, the person is uh, rotating the frisbee. Okay, rotating a frisbee until it released. Until it's released. When the release, that means it's the final velocity, lah. Final velocity. Okay. So first of all, uh, he said this is a uniform this uh, uniform this so we can from here we can get a formula for moment of inertia let's check what is the formula for uniform this yeah uniform this what's the formula for moment of inertia ah i got the formula here so the solid this uh, moment inertia uh, solid this moment inertia is a uh, half m omega square uh, if um Hollow. If hollow this, then it's m r square. Ah, uh, yeah. If solid this, it is half m r square. If hollow this, is m r square. Ah, uh, solid this has lower moment inertia. Hollow this has higher moment inertia. Ah, uh, so this one just on the question is about a uniform this. So uniform this that means it's not hollow. It's not hollow. It's solid this. So it's half m r square. Okay. Let's move on. Look, move back to our questions. Okay. So uh, this is uniform this. That means this uh, you can say this is a solid this. Yeah. Uh, is it? <laughs> Am I? So this is a solid this. Okay, uniform this because it's uniform. Uh, so the moment inertia formula should be uh, should be half m r square. Uh, half half m r square. Okay. So let's uh, picture out. What's actually happening here? Okay, let me, let me draw out the diagram for you. Okay, so it's a solid disc. Okay, it's a solid disc. You are pushing. Uh, this is let's say this is the this is the center. Uh, this is the radius. Okay, uh, this is the radius r. Okay, and the r is uh, uh, okay convert to si uh, uh, fourteen point three uh, fourteen point three exponent negative 2 meter okay that's the radius okay uh, okay i convert to meter already now he said you push uh, tangentially yeah you push tangentially that means at a tangent here you push that means uh, the force is over here 
Uh, the force is over here. You push it tangentially. Ah, uh, this is the force. Okay, so this is the 6.5 Newton. Uh, 6.5 Newton. Okay, uh, so... Um, uh, okay, 6.5 Newton. So tangentially, that means it's uh, 90 degree to the radius. Huh? Ten, uh, this is called tangent. Uh, tangent. Tangent. Okay. So the F is uh, 90 degree to the radius. Uh, it's the tangent. Uh, and the mass of it, the mass of the frisbee is 32 gram. That means 0 0.032 kilogram. Uh, change to kilogram, yeah, <laughs> divide by thousand. So you can see here, uh, it is uh, rotated, uh, rotated. Uh, there is a torque here. Uh, so there is a torque here. Okay, uh, rotate. Uh, this torque you just use uh, what? You just use fr, uh, fr. The angle between them is sine considered sine ninety degree. Uh, yeah? <laughs> We know that sine 90 is equal to uh, 1, yeah? Uh, so it's just fr, lah, yeah? Uh, sine 90. Uh, and 90 degree is the angle between them. Uh, it's a cross product, yeah? So uh, sine 90. Okay, uh, so there's a talk. Okay, okay, without further ado, let us let us uh, try to uh, solve the questions. Okay, let us uh, continue with question A. Okay, we want to find the moment inertia of frisbee is a solid disc. Okay, a uniform disc is a solid disc. That means is the formula is half m r square. Uh, so what is the mass again? The mass is uh, I convert to kilogram. Okay, uh, and then radius is uh, uh, fourteen point three exponent negative two. Why exponent negative two? Because I change to meter. Okay. Uh, square. So let's calculate the answer and see what's the answer. Ah, uh, I got the answer already. It is um, uh, let me see. Yeah, uh, it is uh, 3.27 3.27 uh, uh, exponent negative 4. Uh, neg exponent negative 4. Uh, and what's the unit for the moment in it? Uh, the moment inertia. Uh, so just look at the the formula it is kilogram the mass is kilogram r is uh, length length is a uh, meter so square so the the unit for uh, for moment moment inertia is kilogram meter square uh, you must write the unit ah uh. must write the unit ah uh. without unit you you uh, the answer, the question the answer is wrong okay all right uh, so for uh, okay the next one what is the angular acceleration of the frisbee? Okay, let us do it. Uh, B, angular acceleration. That means uh, we need to use the, ki uh, the kinematic formula. Okay, we have the, uh, we have the, oh no, no, no. Angular acceleration, we need to use torque. I think we need, yeah, we need to use torque. So, from here we can see there's only one force, isn't it? Uh, there's only one force, so uh, it rotate. The, uh, this force brings the ro the torque, yeah, the torque to make it rotate, and we can see the rotation is uh, clockwise. Uh, the rotation is clockwise. The alpha is uh, in the same. The alpha is in the in this direction. Okay, uh, follow the torque because the torque is uh, clockwise. Yeah, so the alpha also this way lah. Okay, uh, it rotate this way, isn't it? The, so the angular acceleration is, uh, you know, the angular acceleration is clockwise. Okay. Uh, still remember I told you about the the uh, principle. This um, uh, we linear motion we have total F equal to m a Newton second law. Yeah, resultant force equal to m a a is acceleration. Uh, and then the rotation motion we just translate the force into torque mass into i moment inertia uh, linear acceleration tangential acceleration to angular acceleration uh, so to we, in linear motion we have total f equal to ma rotational motion we have total torque equal to i alpha uh, when we have force we have we have resultant force we have 
acceleration. When we have resultant torque, we have angular acceleration. So it's the similar thing. And now I want to talk about the sine. Okay, uh, this one, a linear motion. Uh, we say uh, follow acceleration. When the force is follow acceleration, then the force is positive. When the force is opposite the acceleration, opposite acceleration, the force is negative. Okay, force is negative. Uh, but rotational motion, when the torque is follow the angular acceleration, uh, then it is a uh, positive torque. When uh, when the, the torque is opposite the acceleration, angular acceleration, uh, then it is negative torque. Uh, what I can say is, uh, maybe I can just draw a diagram here to show you, yeah? To show you more. Um, okay, let's say for linear motion, we have a box here. Okay, we have a box here. So we have, uh, let's say we have, uh, we have here, we have F1, uh, we have F2, and then here, and then somewhere here, we have F3, okay? Uh, now, the angular, the acceleration is to the left. Acceleration is to the left. So, which force are positive? Uh, which force we should put positive? Uh, of course, the F3, because F3 is same direction with acceleration. We don't, we don't look at going to the left is negative, going to the right is positive. We don't look at it like that anymore. Understand? We don't look at it like, like that anymore. We use the Newton's second law. Uh, okay, we, when we have acceleration, okay, uh, when, when, we have as, we have, when we have acceleration, when we have acceleration, uh, we, we compare with acceleration. Uh, the force, same direction with acceleration, they are positive. Uh, like this F1 and F2, they are opposite, opposite the acceleration, isn't it? Uh, so these two force, F1, F2, they are negative. Uh, so when we have acceleration, we compare with acceleration. Uh, same direction with acceleration, positive. Opposite the acceleration is negative. Uh, the same thing goes to the torque. Same thing goes to the torque. Let's say I have, um, you know, I have a wheel here, uh, maybe a uniform cylinder. Okay. So now, uh, let's say, let's say I have a few torque here. Okay. Let's say I have a few torque here. Um, uh, okay. Maybe I put like this. I, like this is the center, the axis of rotations. Okay. Um, I make uh, like this way. Uh, this is a. Uh, wow. I got. Here got F1, here got F2, uh, and then uh, and then here got um, you know uh, this is uh, F3. Okay? Ah uh, so okay, so however however the 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 acel angular acceleration is clockwise. Ah uh, angular acceleration is clockwise. So uh, let's look at what's the torque for each uh, forces you see here. Uh, because we know each force will bring the torque. Yeah, which force will bring a torque? Because according to the formula, uh, you know, torque is uh, R cross F, uh, or we have uh, F R sine theta. Uh, so we know that uh, each force, each force will provide a torque. Uh, each force will provide a torque. Uh, so these are the R. Yeah, as we can see here, we have a R for each one. Okay, so uh, fr sin theta, fr sin theta for each one. So each each of them have torque. So look at here. Uh, this is the center. Now, um, okay, like f one. What's the what's the direction of torque? A uh, direction of torque would be, uh, would be this way. You just imagine if you have a wheel here, and this is the this is the center. At the middle is a center axis of rotation. So f one will when you when you push at position F1, yeah, over here, you push to the left, this thing will rotate in what way? In which direction? Uh, it will rotate anti-clockwise, isn't it? Anti-clockwise. So this, this top is anti-clockwise. Uh, the top one is anti-clockwise. Okay? Uh, let, let me show you. Uh, this is uh, anti-clockwise top. And how about F2? Uh, F2 is... Uh, clockwise. Uh, F two is clockwise. Uh, yeah, this top is clockwise. Okay, you you will put when you push it here. Uh, this thing will rotate clockwise. And then how about F three? Uh, F three, you push it here. This thing also will rotate clockwise. Right? I will rotate clockwise. So this is top number three. Ah, uh, yeah, top number three. Okay. So, uh, which top are positive? Which top are negative? 
Ah, uh, so we need if we have angular angular acceleration, just like the linear acceleration, we need to compare with the angular acceleration. Understand or not? We need to compare with the angular acceleration. So same direction, same direction with acceleration, we put as uh, positive. The torque, the torque which are uh, same direction with acceleration, we put positive torque. When um, when for the for the one for the uh, for the torque which are opposite as uh, opposite direction with angular acceleration, we put as negative. Uh, negative. So we can say torque two and torque three uh, same direction with angular acceleration. So they are both positive. Positive top, but top one rotate uh, anti clockwise, so opposite direction with angular acceleration. So top one is negative. Uh, let, let me write it down. Okay, let me write it down. Maybe uh, I apply the total F equal to MA here. Okay, the, uh, we know that total F equal to M tangential acceleration here. So for this case, uh, we can put it as a F3 as positive, but F1 and F2 are negative. Uh, negative sorry uh, negative uh, negative uh, f1 and uh, negative uh, f2 uh, negative f2 okay ah uh, that this is the way we write uh, ma lah uh, ma yeah uh, okay uh, how about this one how about this one okay let's apply the formula uh write a little bit down here okay so we apply the formula total torque equal to I alpha uh, alpha. So what's the torque which are same direction with angular acceleration? Angular acceleration is clockwise. So torque two and torque three, they are same direction with angular acceleration. So both of them are positive. Torque two plus torque three. Uh, okay, torque two plus torque three. But torque one is opposite. Yeah, it's opposite with alpha, so it's negative. Yeah. We know that uh, torque 2 clockwise, torque 3 also clockwise. Same with the alpha clockwise. So both of them are positive. But torque 1 will make this thing rotate anti-clockwise. Uh, rotate anti-clockwise. So torque 1 is negative. Uh, torque 1 is negative. Okay? Because why torque 1? Torque 1 is negative because it is opposite with alpha. Opposite with alpha. Okay? So uh, this is the way. Ah, you see that? So it's the same thing as the Newton second law. This is actually Newton second law also. Uh, yeah, the same concept. We just translate from linear motion term to ro rotational motion term. Okay. So back to the question. Yeah, we have uh, we have over here. Okay, we have over here. We just uh, apply the same concept. Okay. So right now our um, uh, okay. Right now our Okay, so our alpha is uh, clockwise. So, um, okay, we want to find the torque here. Uh, we want to find alpha actually. So, um, we have the torque. Okay, uh, we have the moment inertia. Yeah, so we just use the formula total torque equal to I alpha for this one. Yeah, total torque equal to I alpha. And then we use this concept follow the alpha. When the follow the alpha, L torque is positive. When opposite alpha, torque is negative. Okay. Uh, so let's do the question. Uh, total torque, yeah, total torque equal to I alpha. Okay, so okay, so um, so this one, this uh, this okay, alpha is clockwise, and this this torque also will make this thing rotate clockwise. So this torque is same direction with alpha, uh, same direction with alpha. We must, uh, if we have alpha, we must compare with, sorry, when we have alpha, we must compare with alpha, okay? Uh, same direction, sorry, same direction with the alpha, we put positive, uh, sorry. Same direction with alpha, we put as positive, opposite the alpha, we put as negative. So consider this torque is same direction, same direction with the, el with the alpha. Uh, so this torque is positive torque, okay? Uh, so uh, this torque should be positive torque. So I just put as positive torque. Uh, and then uh, equal to I alpha. Okay, this top is a positive top. Uh, uh, it's a positive top because it is uh, this top is same direction, uh, same direction with the alpha. Okay. Uh, now 
Uh, continue. So torque is uh, FR sine 90 lah. Yeah, because it's the tangential. Yeah, this force is tangential to the to the frisbee. Uh, so uh, put as uh, FR sine uh, 90 degree. Okay. L, uh, this moment inertia is 3.27 uh, exponent negative 4. Okay. And what is my alpha? I need to find out. Okay. Uh, what is my force? What is my force? Six, uh, I already labeled here. 6.5 Newton. Okay. Uh, 6.5 multiplied by the radius. The radius is uh, 14. No, 14.3 exponent negative 2. Okay. Uh, that, that's the radius. Okay. Sine 90 is uh, equal to 1. Lah. Sine 90 is equal to 1. Yeah. So, and then following. Uh, yeah. So, I can find my alpha already. I can find my alpha already. Uh, what's my alpha? Let's find out my alpha. Okay. Let's find out my alpha. Okay. Okay, so all right. Uh, what's my alpha? Uh, two point eight four two. Two point eight four. Two point eight four three. Yeah, should be two point eight four three. Uh, exponent three. Exponent three. So this is a radian per second square. Uh, that's the that's the alpha. Uh, that's the alpha. Yeah, that's the alpha. Okay. Now, how about the angular velocity when the frisbee is released? That means it asks for the final angular velocity. And this one we use the kinematic uh, of uh, kinematic formula, uh, but translate to rotational terms. Okay, so let's find out. So question C, uh, question C. I want the final angular velocity. So what do I have? I already have the in kinematic we have the alpha. Okay, we have the alpha already. We have the we have what we have initially at rest. We have also has the in initial angular velocity. Uh, time taken. Yes, we have the time taken. Uh, we have the time taken. Uh, zero point zero eight second. Yeah, the initial angular velocity is zero radian per second. The alpha is what's the alpha? Yeah, uh, two point two point eight four three uh, exponent three. Yeah, two point eight four three exponent three. Okay, so uh, okay, so we this is like, uh, this is like, this is like what? This is like v. This is like, this is like v. This is a. This is u and t. So we uh, we use the formula v equal to u plus a t, but we translate it to rotational term omega f omega naught plus alpha t. Uh, okay. So what is the okay? Let's continue. So this is uh, zero. Uh, alpha is um, two point eight four three exponent three, uh, and then this is the time taken zero point zero eight. Okay. So uh, yeah. So what's the answer? Let's calculate. Yeah. Let's calculate and see. 2.843 exponent 3 multiplies 0 0.08. So the answer I get is um, uh, 227.44 radian per second. Okay, so that's the answer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's the answer. I hope you understand the questions. It's all back to. Uh, Newton's second law, total F equal to MA, and this one also go back to the linear motion, uh, kinematic equation. Uh, so we just have to translate all to rotational terms. Uh, yeah, this one actually come from total F equal to MA, uh, and this one come from mass. You see, uh, so total F equal to MA, we change to total torque equal to I alpha. Uh, this one come from V equal to U plus AT become omega F equal to omega naught plus alpha T. Okay, that's all for this question.